Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 and 8 of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. And then the fact, also, let's go back to last week's episode or the previous. Dude's dad was like, oh, hey, like, yeah, he could have had, like, David could have had a better life. Like, oh, God. The what if scenarios? Holy shit, look at him! This had to, it's at least gotta be maybe what, like, a couple of weeks, months, a month maybe after Maine died, Maine and Dora died? It had to. So now the question is, where the fuck is Lacey though? <laughs> Please don't tell me that, okay, after, like, the situation that happened in episode... <laughs> I'm about to say shit. Six. Let's say Lucy and David broke, broke up. And then they got on their separate ways. They broke the fuck up. Like, oh. <laughs> Stop. I can't. I already like this kid. And now you're making me really like this kid. Like, oh. <laughs> like, you always like a damn fucking himbo like muscular daddy like oh shit damn it the show oh god cause see mm, them sugar men You would have kind of thought that, like, they would have had, um, Johnny Sensei be popping up in this, but, mm, no. Nah. God damn, like, what the- Huh. Damn.
Damn. That was hot as fuck. Like, um. I'm gonna be quiet. <laughs> potential poor baby <laughs> Hell, Ross and Pace of him, like, damn, he was so. Hope so. No, talk about losing. that too because of what she saw I mean have you tried any other times to talk to her about that something stupid. It might taste nasty, but... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Something with melon and Mountain Dew, it might be good, and then it might, like, not.
Right. Exactly. I mean, damn, you, you think you're doing a little too much? <sighs> you know, boys, right? Men, like, oh. <laughs> Honestly, it tastes good. I mean, gee, nope, let me keep my mind. <laughs> let me keep that to myself, yes. Hell, he probably has a drink after it, named after him, too. Lucy? Ah, uh, him, of course. Of course. Excuse me. You're right about that. <laughs> mm. 
At least he's upset, uh, accepting of that. Like, damn. Well, yeah, but you at least had to retain some information. God, his eyelids just goddamn. Like, mm hmm. Let me guess, you were the only one who survived. Okay. Damn. And once again, you were the only one. Like what, maybe what, five of them? Five. Damn. And of course, yeah, she's still the only one alive.
God dang it. She's been through so much. I need... <laughs> Please give her a hug. She technically has a happy ending right now. Fucking fried his brain. Shit. Mm. And of course, she doesn't realize she's doing this probably. Ha, what? <laughs> oh, it's getting so good. No. Oh my god. Because of the fact that I wasn't paying attention to how many minutes we had left. Oh, uh, okay. So, of course, yes, her biggest fear now is losing him. Like, oh, that hurts. Oh, my God. But, I mean, yeah, after everything she's been through, you feel bad for this girl. Like, Jesus, you, you just, you want her to have her happy moment and just a happy ending. She is in it with, with David as of now, but, like, oh, God, my, like, <laughs> that, that feeling that I have in the pit of my stomach. I only have three more episodes left, and I, I'm just, oh, God. <sighs> Bruh. No, I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> I, I want to know, but I don't want to know. I can't do it, no. And then, like, he he's over here, like, I promise, like, nothing's going to happen to me. How can you promise that to her? How can you be so sure nothing's going to happen to you? Like, your, your arm is shaking! Oh my god. But shit, I mean, oh, but like... Damn, you look good. <laughs> Because you know the merchandise. Like, yes! The, you know, mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was there. It was there. I just had to say it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. <laughs> And the Rebecca her big fucking arms. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna wait till the end to talk about that because I like when I saw that for the first time, I was like, okay, damn. But then also, <laughs> recipes for the old. <laughs> recipes to the new boy, like damn. He, 
The way he died is fucked up, though. Like, damn. Like, right as David was saying, like, oh, hey, there might be traps. Boom. Flatline. <laughs> like, bruh. Ugh. Ripperoni. <laughs> Oh, God damn. That's all I gotta say. Damn, 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 damn. But good, I'll pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Alrighty, episode eight in three, two, one, go. God, he is an ass. Like, damn. You just look at her as just a number. As like, oh, hey, that's my money guinea pig. All I care about is money right now. God, he's our, he, we already knew. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it, David. I'm not going to cry. No. No, I'm not going to, no, mm -mm, no, do not, Deja. DJ, no. Stop it. Stop. Oh, God damn it. He was already too far gone by the end of episode seven. This now really fucking confirms it that he is. Oh. No.
damn. <laughs> mm. Right, because I honestly nobody can really trust that group company right now, bruh. Of course, it, it it has to be the dude who fucking bullied David. Come on now, who else would be in that damn car?
this fucker. Oh, damn. Yeah, you fucking hesitated. Hmm? Wait, Rebecca. Well, where are you going? <laughs> Yeah, you wanna talk? Is there something on your mind? Like, mm? Mm-hmm. What do you mean what was what? You know exactly. Bullshit. It's not nothing. You're close to her. Tell her what's going on. You don't want to be like that. Man. But of course. Oh, we're going to see what happened. Damn. Oh, Oh, well, too late handled it. Yeah, she did now. Mm. 
for a while now. Yeah, how long is a while ago? Yeah, why didn't you say anything? It's never temporary. Mm-hmm. Don't be a dick! Yes, you can! It's catching up to you. Oh my fucking god. Sounds like you are. Because mm -mm. she's still afraid. What? Oh, 
he not going to be there. He not going to be there. <laughs> she about to go kill. Oh, it ain't going to be that easy. Come on now, boo. Mm. Of course it was a trap. What? How the oh, 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 oh. Once again, you can't you can't trust anyone. No one but your fucking self. Oh my god. No. F Kiwi, fuck you, you damn bitch. You fucking bitch. Oh, come on now. So you telling me, you telling me, you fucking telling me, with the last two episodes I got left, he's going to die saving Lucy. Because of course he's going to find out about Lucy, and then he's going to go save her, and he's going to fucking die. Oh my god. I don't want to think about this. <sighs> Kiwi, oh my god. And, okay, the fact that, David, not only the fact is your girlfriend said something, fucking Rebecca says something. When your girlfriend and fucking Rebecca say something, that means it's time to fucking stop. Like, oh my god. Like, seriously, if Rebecca says something first, yes, okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and be a dumbass and go ahead and do it again. But when your girlfriend, your fucking girlfriend says shit. That's it. We're done. But I get it. If it, oh God, this is like it, when you're addicted to something and you're like, yes, I want more and more and more and how you cannot say no to it and the power of addiction and that high of it. And he, he's had this high for the longest time and now he is feeling the lows and he's getting closer and closer to going psycho that... There is no return for him. Like, even dude, the one who was helping him at the beginning of this, like, literally gave him all the last fucking doges, like, st literally telling him, after this, don't fucking come back to me. Because that that's it. I have nothing else for you. Like, once you're, once that's it, that's it. And then the fact that he killed a woman that was around the same age as his mom and he is hella fucking traumatized by that shit now but I do like the fact that we got to see the two different POVs one of the of the two well technically the the mom who got killed in the episode and David's POV to see what he was seeing at the time but fucking Kiwi Kiwi Bitch, come on. I mean, hold up, say. Mm. <sighs> Bitch. Bitch. You're fucking kidding me. Like, damn. Oh, I don't know how to feel. Like, fuck her. Fuck her. I, I understand why she did it. I completely understand it. Come on now, because, like, okay... Like, one of my other favorite badass female characters, Fuchiko Mine, who is, like, psh, number one queen, you know, independent bad bitch. She was like, yeah, you know, maybe I have to, like, sell out Lupin. And <laughs> so, you know, I can escape. I mean, yeah, I get you on that. And maybe that's what Kiwi is thinking because most of us, like, it's, e it's either the money or getting it out freely or both. So maybe she getting both of the ends of the deal. But then at the same time, like, her doing this and being a traitor 
could also be the reason of her getting killed. That's the thing. So it's a, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Like, yes, yeah, she working with dude, but still, she could die in these last two episodes. Anything could freaking happen to her. So yeah, she need to also watch her damn back. But... <laughs> Okay. I have nothing else to say. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all in a few minutes for the final two episodes. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.